Welcome back to another episode of Kyle's Garden. Gardening with Kyle. Let's grow. Do you seed? Whatever name it is. So today I'm going to be repotting a um, eggplant that I've actually had growing in a pot for two years just in the backyard. Um, it's kind of grown kind of cool so I'm going to put it in um, some bonsai dirt and see what happens. So I've already taken it out of the pot. Check out this root system here. There's actually two separate plants in here. There's that one, which I'm probably just going to repot back into there. And this is the one I'm gonna work on because I like the root structure here. It's got plenty of growth. So it's acting more like a perennial than an annual, I would say. So let's get to work. Beautiful afternoon to be doing this or evening. It's like almost five, six o'clock. You know, people can use all kind of tools to do things, but sometimes I just like using my hands. Get the smell of dirt on your hands. Not bad. So this is what we do in Florida in January. We garden. I mean, not just, it's not all we do. People do all kind of stuff. But I like Florida because you can pretty much garden year round. You be careful on the dark down there. Kind of like kneading dough, getting all this dirt out. See, this is a old eggplant a lot of times when they get like that I just hopefully let this one fall off and maybe it'll grow some more eggplants in that pot there we'll, we'll just have to see I don't know if this soil was anything in particular I think at the time I was mainly using either peat moss I think that's what that is is peat moss and a perlite may not it may be like Some kind of generic bag of dirt from the store. So look at this root mass here. Look at that root mass. Some people like to hose them off and whatnot. Look at that. So. so I want to get it into here, so we're definitely going to have to trim up some of these roots. So, before I just start cutting all willy-nilly, you kind of want to think about how you want to position the plant in the... I got something kind of set it on. Hey, buddy. Oh, it's, it's you want to say hi to? It's tooth. Yeah, okay. Okay, they want to see now. No, they probably want to see you. I don't, I don't doubt they really want to see me. Give me a second to kind of think about this. What are you saying hi there? Okay. Okay, back on the other side. Come on, over here. So there's still a lot of like dead plant in here. I'm not sure if I want to quite remove. I'm gonna take a little bit of it off here.
and so I'm thinking how I want to position it. What if I what if I grew it to the side like that a bit? I don't know, let me get some of these out of the way. Ball it up and get a good handful like that. Always mind your fingers, you don't want to cut yourself. Oh, there we go. We still got plenty of root. Definitely going to be taking more off. But I'm going to get more of an idea of how the plant is going to sit down in this pot. Okay, so there's a big old tap root. So we may be limited even to how that root makes us have it. But I think that with this being the front of the plant for now is what's going to work. Okay, that's what's going to be the money right there. So I want to trim up a little bit more of these roots. Are there, it sounds like your your little friends are next door, huh, Elwood? We got some grandchildren, not my grandchildren, but neighbors got their grandchildren over there and they love playing with Elwood. He loves playing with them too. That's a good thing about dogs. Such wonderful, caring animals. Well, the rest of the world can kiss the whistle. Probably going to have to get some wire, too, to work on it. Or to hold it in a bit so that's where we're gonna end this video for now and I'm gonna go grab some wire some uh, bonsai soil and uh, we'll go from there <laughs>